as Evita Zubac and Miles Turner are ready to jump this one up and get it underway. Ball is knocked out of bounds. It'll be Pacer ball to start the game. They'll have it to start the fourth quarter as well. Now they reverse it. Reverse that. It'll be Clipper ball. They'll have it to start the fourth quarter. Orlando, Charlotte, and then Sacramento. That game will mean something to both the Kings and the Clippers as they battle for playoff positioning. Miles Turner inside starts the scoring. To get your playoff legs up underneath you, more so the mental aspect, and if Paul does this, you know, but th those are repairable items, so to speak, things that can be taken care of as we bleed into the end of the season. But it's very important that we start that process. The Clippers started now. Welcome oh, back, Jim Jackson. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> George gets a screen from Zoo, keeps the ball, creates the contact, mid range in route. It is good. It felt like it was in the mid 100s with how fast everything was going, but it speaks to the pace that players like Tyrese Maxey play with in the half court. Yeah. And Halliburton knocks down the three to tie the game. Yeah. 11 to 9, Clippers out in front. Siakam. The runner off the window. What a tough shot. Knocks it down. His second basket ties up the score at 11s. Pacers out in front by one. They are 6 of 10 from the field. Clippers have taken nine shots. They've made six of them. Now they've made seven of them. Harden with four. Russell Westbrook has stayed conditioned. Kawhi Leonard tries to drive on Turner. Sends it up top to Powell. Sidestep three and root. It's good again for Powell. A nice game off the bench yesterday. Leonard the other way. Picked up by McDermott. Two former Spurs crossing blade. Powell coming again. Two threes for Powell in a minute's work, and the Clippers lead 23-17. Timeout, Indiana. Good job out of you. You get better every day, bro. That's the key. <laughs> Some of us do. I'll, I'll let you know when it happens. Kawhi Leonard knocks it down. Clippers out in front, 25-17, 339 to play the first. Well, again, they're playing a little bit more pace. The ball is not sticking right now with the Clippers. Hence, you're able to have more space to work with. Cleaner looks, and now you're more efficient offensively. Game three for Halliburton. I mentioned that first one falling was concerning. He has struggled. He is a good shooter. He's now two for two. That's a positive and plus for the Pacers. McConnell also a point guard out there for Indiana. He's not the fastest. He's not the strongest. Would you put him in the same category, he and Peyton Pritchard? Just what they bring to the table, speaking of which, Esco Wise is real stepping down the lane. McConnell. Has to get around Powell. Fades and fires. That's a 6 0 run by Leonard. 4 3 over Toppin. And he knocks it down. Kawhi Leonard with seven first quarter points. The year, knowing that you put in a lot of work during the year, you don't want it to go to waste. You see Russ with a nice. Euro step over top it. Some spot minutes for some difficult offensive players, in particular with Zion Williams. Uh, Zion Williamson uh, a couple weeks ago in New Orleans. McConnell gets good again. Like you said, it's a tie score. So defensively, Clips need to lock in a lot more. That's why I was saying get that shooting percentage down. George from 15 is good. And Paul George now with eight. If there is a silver lining on the defense, it just went away right there. Harden drives around McDermott, ladles it to Russ, who lays it in. Siakam back down on George, gets to the dotted line and feathers it in, and Indiana ties up the score at 44. But yeah. ignites to break the other way, Clippers find two. George. For three over Siakam, and he knocks it down. Paul George against his former team has 11 with 7.29 to play in the first half. The team that really starts to focus on defense is going to <laughs> be able to extend it because right now, both teams are just going back and forth offense. Deflection interception with them hard to beat. Here comes George. And he locks it down. Successful. That is not where my that's not where I was headed. Nemhard. Well, maybe it was better you stop. That's why I looked at you. <laughs> Nemhard knocked down the jumper. <laughs> Halliburton steps into a three. He's four for four. Timeout Clippers. Pacers lead 59 to 55. The centers take center stage on the last couple of possessions. 
Leonard deep inside, feathers it home. And Kawhi Leonard going to work. He's hit at Turner. Shoot. Shooting just about 35% from behind the arc and a pick on James Harden freed up Halliburton. Who guessed it? It was. I said to Ryan Shaw, uh, first team to play defense wins, and he laughed and said, uh, yeah, they are too comfortable. Turner the other way. Oh, another three for Turner. 90 seconds gone by. Leonard. Fading away and knocks it down. You were too good, man. That Midwest education, man. I was questioning my own basketball credibility having not played horsey. It was uh, <laughs> Siakam flushes it down. But quite honestly, with what ails the Clippers, it doesn't matter if it's home or road. Walker for three. It's a big one, and it puts the Pacers out in front by ten. Turner inside, he's got 10 points in the first four minutes of the third quarter. Clippers are down by eight. They've led by as many as eight. Westbrook inside. Oh, with the stop! He got lucky by that one. See if we can capitalize right here offensively. George rises and knocks it down. Paul George. Clippers still shooting 56% from the field. Powell inside over the top of top. And oh, Westbrook out of nowhere. Back to the basket. Taps it in. You will have to be up tempo. A lot more, especially he was really good on the defensive end of the court, and that's on top of able to follow it up. Pacers 9 of 19, 5 to shoot for Siakam on Tucker, creating the space and knocking it down. And Pascal Siakam now with 18. To win the next game of Horsey. Yep. Horsey. 95 87, Siakam, a little touch shot there. It goes for Siakam, he's got 20. They take on the team, maybe playing the best basketball in the league right now, and that is the Denver Nuggets. Siakam from the elbow, he just hit, and he hits again. And McConnell, arcing pass to Shepard, beats everybody back. Harden recovers. And Siakam down the lane and punches it in. And Pascal Siakam now with 24. And a couple of former Raptors going at it. Teammates on that championship team back in 2019. Smith lays it in. Siakam's going to ask for a weekly allowance at St. Elmo's. I would. Throw it in there. Get some of that shrimp. And <laughs> <laughs> McConnell for three. It is no laughing matter. 110. Going on the road to play. Now, if you can't finish your business at home. And the Clippers are one for seven in the fourth. The Pacers, as Shepard fires up a three, are now seven of eight. Timeout Clippers. This year, 16 and 0 when they lead by 20 or more. But they have two 20 point comebacks. Three to shoot, they dump it inside to Smith for the finish. So, this is where they kind of make their bread, so to butter their bread, so to speak. Look, right now, defense out, give it up, lay up. Nine to shoot for Harden. Let's it fly from 17, it is good. Harden now with 11 on three of seven shooting. Siakam. It's, it's going to be tough. But in this league, the on and off switch, spend some time, can talk, work some things out, figure out amongst themselves, and then by being on the road, you just focus on playing a little bit. It's good to have you back for one game, Jim. Wow, throw me under the bus, man. No, because I'm not going to see you again. You are a piece of work. <laughs> Halliburton down the lane off the window and in, and that's going to be all she does. 235. I'm the one giving stats here. Oh, my bad. My bad. It's going to be a long flight to Philadelphia tomorrow for the Clippers. They'll take on the Sixers. Sixers, Orlando, Charlotte, and Sacramento. <laughs> Five that is missing. Not a chemistry thing, in my opinion. A focus for 48 minutes on the defensive side might be. And sometimes, you know, uh, listen, some of my teams I played, we weren't good enough collectively, even though we still tried. This Clipper team has so much potential in what we can do. Maybe it has, but uh, again, I'm going to go back to this. Sometimes the road can be the healer of a lot of the ills by playing together and staying together and figuring it out and having those intimate conversations. And